and his time is a difficult era. The Rasul says it in an eloquence befitting the majesty of the Rasul. Listen carefully, Muslims. You will campaign in the Arab Peninsula and Allah will open it. ثم تغزون الفارس then there will be a campaign against the Persians فيفتحها الله and Allah will open it ثم تغزون الروم then there will be a campaign against Rome and Allah will open it ثم تغزون الدجال فيفتحها الله then the Dajjal will come and Allah will open it and then will let you conquer it so the age of the Mahdi is an age of intense struggle and the Hadith says he will stay with you for seven years and maybe eight, and if it really extends nine years. And at the last campaign, the Muslims will come and the other side, its opposition will come to face it. And the opposition is so huge. 80 banners, 80 different flags, under each flag, will be 14,000 men. Is it 14 or 12? 12,000 men. I've said 14. If they've got it wrong, that's their thing. Right? And anyway, so between those two. And when the two sides meet, and the Muslims see this, a third of them will run away. And the Prophet says, Allah will never accept their repentance ever. Because running away reduces and destroys the morale of everyone standing. So then the campaign starts and the battle is hot and it's intense. And a third of the Muslims will die. And a third will be victorious. Just a third will be victorious. And they will be there on the battlefield collecting the remnants and the booty of war. And the hadith says from one tribe, 99 have died and one person is left. So what joy will he have at victory and what joy will he have at collecting booty? So you would think after such a calamity, after such a colossal engagement, or what is referred to in the books that preceded us as Armageddon, you would have expected issues to become more relaxed. Yet, as they have just become victorious and are collecting the things of the battlefield,